Hey squad, welcome back to my channel. I hope this is finds you a wonderful, great, excellent spirits. Yes, I am recording three videos back to back. So yeah, you're seeing me with the same makeup, same hair, trying to get these knocked out for these kids. Go bonkers because they're bothering me. <laughs> they're hungry. I'm like, I don't understand why you're hungry. Didn't you eat today? Like, why I gotta feed you all the time? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No one calls CPS. My kids are gonna eat. Jokes, people jokes laugh okay um motivational inspirational tea to remind you think like a queen be a legend legend can mean different things it's just achieving your greatness it's you reaching your full potential being the best you, you can be you know beauty starts within radiates outward so you creating um your goals sticking with your goals and just maturing spiritual maturity and so you just reach who you are and you, you'll know. No one will have to tell you you've reached who you are. You will know you have reached who you are. And once you gradually begin to get closer and closer to who you are, embracing who you are, knowing your talents and skills, knowing what you have to offer the world, once you start doing that, other people will notice that. It's like you will carry yourself differently. You won't look down on people. It's not about looking down on people and and bringing people down and being domineering or anything like that. It's just you just stepping into who you are. You know, stepping into your power, claiming your power, knowing who you are. Once you do that again, like I said, you're on that path and, and heading towards that way, you will just radiate and people will be naturally attracted to you. And not so saying physically attracted to you, just everybody will just be attracted to you. They'll just, wow, that, she's gorgeous, she's beautiful. Or, Man, that glow, that energy. So there's something about her that just makes you want to be her friend. You know, I've read I've read comments of people saying that, or I've heard people say in person, like, they can't explain why the person just has this great energy about them, but they're just, like, naturally attracted to it, and they want to be that person's friend. They want to be around that person. So when you're a queen, you radiate that energy, that positiveness, that love, that happiness that people are attracted to, and they want that. And they're going to, well, how did you get that way? Well, how did you handle this? And how did you get to this point? That's where you begin to help other people. And it just continues to, to help you to grow. When you're helping people, you learn more about yourself as well in the process. And you're getting them to where they need to be. And you're continuing on your path to maturity and greatness, right? That's how you become a legend. You know, you just never know that one thing you help somebody with, they're going to remember that. And it's going to help them get to where they need to be. You just became a legend. You know, you're you're great in your own way. So it's not about being famous and insta famous and celebrity status and going down in history books and making history and breaking records. All that stuff is great. I'm not knocking it, not saying that. I'm just saying you don't have to be on that level to be great. You know, you don't have to be Serena and Simone to be great, <laughs> even though it'd be nice to be like that, right? Uh, but you can be that on your own level, within your own community, within your own circle of family and friends, okay? Within your own household, you can be that, okay? Because I'm a mom, so I'm going to give a mom example. But a lot of issues that we have as adults, some of them stem from our childhood. So if you're a great parent, a great mom, whether they're your biological kids or your foster kids or your um, stepchildren, if you're that positive, loving role model for them, you're going to help get them started on the right path. I hope that all makes sense. I hope this that explained. <laughs> I always say I'm going to do a little bit and I always end up getting more like I'm receiving the message and it's just coming out. But um, yes, if you're interested in this tea, uh, I will include my Instagram is on the screen, but also include it down in the description box. Head over to my Instagram, DM me, and I will get in contact with you on how to get this shirt to you. Uh, once I get enough people interested, I will create a link, and that way you can directly purchase it. Because all everything that the way you support me that way helps me to grow my channel because I'm able to purchase all these great units that are coming out um, and get them in different colors and you know stuff like that maybe give them away instead of keeping so many of them doing giveaways or letting y'all purchase them stuff like that um, these companies like to drop new makeup items as well beauty items I would greatly appreciate you guys as well as you know subscribing and liking my content that also helps me out as well now we've gone through all that, let's get to the second reason why we are here. 
okay and so I know I uh, I've already recorded some videos for the blonde series and I probably said in that video that that was my first blonde unit but this unit we're gonna call it like a bridge okay we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna say this is a bridge okay so here's the red here's the blonde this is a bridge the transition over to the blonde this is a new unit from Bobby Boss guys I'm gonna silly move this is okay I guess this is a their new collection is called truly me it's easy everyday wear it's a lace front with baby hair four inch lace deep part um true style true ease truly me bobby boss <laughs> sorry guys this is an <coughs> excuse me mlf 503 julissa you're like just show it already right okay julissa in the color tt6 slash peach see peach the bridge if you put blonde it Blonde and red together, you get like a peach, right? Peachy pink. Come on, guys. Follow, follow, follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Don't follow me. Follow me. Where's that from? Anybody know? It's not from a movie. Okay. So, I've never had a peach unit. And she does come in a blonde, guys. So, I was like, oh, I guess I could get her in blonde. But this peach... It's truly me. No, I'm kidding. But this piece was calling my name. Like, I really... This this piece was calling my name. Let's just put it like that. And there are a couple of, couple of different Bobby Bossians that come in peach that I want to try. So, but this is my first one and probably my only one. But, so the Truly Me collection, there are other... Oh, she's in this one. Ooh, Monica. Ooh, Eileen. Oh. I think I will like Monica better because Monica is more of the... Farrah Fawcett Barrel Curls and Eileen. It, Eileen reminds me of the Dashley units. So, oops. So this is Eileen right here. Reminds me of the Dashley units. Five and seven, just shorter. I want to try this one. I was going to get her Chiara. Chiara. Um, Wig Types reviewed this one. And she reminds me of Avery because of the that lavender color. And then this is the one I want to try too. Monica. You see how curly she is? So, yeah. Truly me to help you accomplish maximum style with extreme ease every day. Switch it up freely with an array of styles for a fail-proof look that's true to you. So you can be ready for anything. Okay? Ready to wear natural lace front, hand-tight lace part, easy fit adjustable straps. Bada, bada, bada. Boom. Okay. I think I covered everything on there. So, this is the lace right here. Oops. So, the combs are in the temple area. Yes. Yes, I use my combs. Haven't had any issues with uh, tearing out my edges. Comb in the back with the adjustable straps. There's a the lace parting. If you can see that. Um, I can already tell she has filler hair. Filler hairs. If you don't like filler hairs, don't get this. And... If they're all the same, which they look like they all have some height to them, I believe this entire line is going to give you filler hair. So, if you're not a filler hair person, uh, don't get this Truly Me collection. So, uh, let me cut the lace off and see what she do to do do do. Alright guys, so here's Miss Julissa here. Um, I did undo the straps. Um, she is big head friendly. Like she, yeah, she's pretty big head friendly ish. You know, she comes. I could, I could, I could, I can't talk. I can, I can, I can, I can, I can work with her. I'm gonna go ahead and use the brush. I just want to see. Oops. I want to see what she, this looks different with me brushing her. That way you can know. You can know if you just want to finger comb her. Or... Okay. And as you can see, this hairline and this parting space. So we're going to fix that right now.
Alright guys, so here's my completed look right here. Uh, as far as what I picked out, I picked out about this much. Uh, you could go more to really open up this part right here. Um, but I didn't, I kind of stopped because I really do need to get <laughs> dinner ready. But um, yeah, I would definitely pluck right here because to open that part, you know, to make it look more natural. Um, and I tried to pluck some from the hairline. Um, it's going to take a little bit of time to do that because of the filler hairs. So if you have the time to really kind of pull it on here and really tweeze it, you can. Um, I guess, I think the best thing is just go ahead and use the baby hairs to try to eliminate, to try to kind of cover that bluntness of the uh, wig since it is going kind of uh, straight. It's not very natural. Um, I know they said that's a natural lace front, but... To me, it's not because it just goes like this. <laughs> so um, if you want to take the time to manipulate the part, you can. I might do it later. I don't know. We'll see. Um, the one thing about the baby hairs, they are thin and not too thick. But what I've noticed with units that have the not so thick baby hairs, once you put them in, you lose the baby hairs. So it's like I kind of can see, like I saw the ones here, but I don't think they put to put any in the front or not too many. I don't know. Uh, but I think they were mostly on the side. Like, I can see this one. So, they're over here. So, I think they mostly gave you, like, side baby hairs um, versus, like, the ones up the front, which I think you need to make it look uh, less wiggy. Unless you, you know, pull the bangs kind of like this, then you kind of camouflage the front hairline. So, you can, you know, build, her, build the bangs up and kind of, if you want have the bang going like this if you do put baby hairs down you can kind of flare up that bang not flare up but flare out that makes sense all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and hop off of here and make dinner let me know what you think down below in the comments uh don't forget to subscribe hit that bell so you get notifications on when new units headed your way and i will see you guys next time bye